Hi, my name's Jonathan Hicks. I'm back at the Dice Cup. And this evening I'm joined by... Steve. Amy. Jack. And we just finished playing Village Pillage, which is a simultaneous action selection game. So you have a hand of cards, and everybody has... At the start of the game, everyone has exactly the same hand of cards. It's like a red one, a green one, a yellow one, a blue one. And you pick one of the cards to play. So maybe I'm going to play this card on and you play it on one of the sides so I'm gonna play it on the side where Jack is and then I'm gonna play this card on the side where Steve is so everyone does the same thing so Jack's gonna pick one of his cards to put on my side and one on Amy's side you can see Steve's put two cards either side and then once all the cards are played they're all simultaneously revealed so we kind of turn over the cards and we see what happens and effectively what you're trying to do, before I explain all the different resolutions, is you're trying to get turnips, they're like the currency in the game, and then you're trying to use the turnips to buy relics. Uh, it's a race effectively, the first person to get three relics wins the game. Your first relic will cost you eight turnips, and then nine, and then if you manage to get your last one, it costs you ten turnips and you win the game. Uh, so, what happens? Well, there's like an order of resolving things, so all the green cards happen first, then blue, then red, then yellow. Uh, so, in this case, my farmer earns turnips the honest way and so I just get three turnips from the bank now you have a kind of stockpile of turnips here but you also have banked turnips it's possible turnips can get stolen but you can't steal turnips once they've been banked so uh, that was the green ones and if anyone else had played any green they would happen now uh, so yes in fact those guys are getting turnips then we do blue ones now blue ones kind of block the red ones the red ones you see I was attempting to steal Car, uh, turnips off Jack, but unfortunately he's played his wall card. So you can see at the left hand side it kind of shows you what it works again. And seeing does not work against the wall because there's no wall symbol here, it only works against the farmers and the merchants. Um, so because I played my raider, that means he's actually going to steal one off me. So he takes one of my turnips and then he gets to bank one of his turnips. So he puts it on the bank. And then, did anyone else play a wall? Uh, so Steve played a wall, but because Amy wasn't trying to raid him, he does the kind of not so good bit. So he gains one from the bank, so he's not actually stealing it, and then he banks one himself. Uh, then we do the red cards, but my card's not gonna work, because Jack played his wall. Although Steve's card <laughs> does work, because I was playing a farmer, and he steals four of my turnips. Ugh. Then finally the merchant card, and this is kind of what it's all leading up to, because if you want to buy a relic, then you have to play a merchant card. Now I don't think anyone did, did they? But imagine someone had played a merchant card instead. If you have enough to buy a relic, then you have to. So you kind of cash in your turnips and you take one of the relics. But if you don't have enough, then you have to buy a card from the middle. And there's an offer here, and effectively you can buy better versions of the basic card. So I showed you earlier, you've got kind of the four basic cards. Um, so for instance, the my basic farmer, here we go, gets me three turnips. But if you buy the Shepherd, you get four turnips. And you get it during the refresh phase, which happens at the end. So there's various better versions. You can see the Burglar here steals four, and in fact can potentially steal banked turnips. He steals inside your house. Uh, the Moat is like a better version of the wall. So you can buy better cards, and then when they're bought, you kind of new ones come out, which do various different things. Um, so you play through this, uh, just to keep going, number of rounds, as I say, until somebody managed to get the magical three relics. What do we think? Uh, it's really nice. I th initially it thought like it would be a bit slow with the, the fact that you're playing simultaneously, you've got lots of things to resolve. But it's like everyone resolve your greens, everyone resolve your blues. And next to the card it basically says what it works against. So if you've got these two against each other, it tells you, well, if these two are fighting each other, this one will activate because there's no blue here, and this one will. And it kind of indicates what row it is. So it kind of does it in a way that initially looked like it would be confusing. It's very good. Um, the number of turnips in the game never decreases. It only ever increases. And the green cards add turnips into the game, and then those turnips move around get stolen, get shifted, get banked, until someone's collected enough and manages to buy a card. And the interesting thing is that a lot of the time people had a big stockpile of turnips, but you know, well they're clearly going to bank this turn, which means I'm probably going to be able to rob them. If they've, if they've tried to um, buy the card on my side, so if Jonathan's got a load of turnips and I think he's put the yellow card on my side, because he has to play on one of the two sides, I'm like, yeah, brilliant, I'm going to steal some of those before he, before he does it. Uh, it's really nice trying to out-predict him if you like, play it is effectively rock, paper, scissors, uh, my wall if I think he's going to rob me, my uh, thief if I think he's going to you know, gain turnips and stuff like that. Um, which is quite nice, I think if you can predict what your opponent's going to do, you do very well. Okay. Amy? Yeah, it's a very kind of light game really, um, once you get into the nitty gritty of it. Um, like Steve said, it is a rock, paper, scissors style game. Sometimes you can feel a bit hard done by, because sometimes you'll get totally blocked on both sides if you've managed to kind of under predict what 
your opponents have managed to predict you were going to do, um, or just kind of draw the short straw occasionally, because if there's a draw for something, so if Jack and I had the least turnips, we'd both potentially get to go first in the buy phase, and you flip a coin to decide who would get that choice first. So sometimes there is that, oh great, I, I lost because of a coin flip. But then I think that is the nature of this game, and it is loads of fun, to be honest. It's just silly, and if you're not into silly games, probably you won't be that into this, but if you're up for just a bit of a laugh and essentially a glorified rock, paper, scissors game, then it's fun. Jack? Yeah, no, I, I like it. It's, it's Like you said, it's rock, paper, scissors with more steps and a proper winner. But um, it's it's really charming. It's a nice little filler of a game. Um, even the cards look nice. Um, I wanted to say they look like Disney characters at first, but I couldn't quite put my finger on it. I think they look like the DreamWorks characters. Um, but, uh, but yeah, and it's, it's you do feel like if you've got loads of turnips, you you might want to do one extra wall move just to just to protect your turnips because you know that everyone's going to try and steal you, and you can just really just nick everyone else's turnips for that. And um, it's, it's it's quite fun to be arguing over turnips. Really. Okay, really. So, Rating? Uh, seven. I give it a six. I'll split the difference six and a half. Okay. Yeah, it's a light filler, but it does the bluffing element very well. Each time on your turn, there is quite a lot to think about. It's a simple decision. It's like, is he going to play his raider? Or is he going to try and buy the relic? And it's like, what's he going to do? What do I play? And you're doing it on both sides, which is nice. And a lot of the time, you can't play whatever card you want it is on both sides, as Steve was saying earlier. So you always have a tricky decision. Which one is more likely to steal off me? Which side should I be playing my wall on? So that's nice. So it is quick. It doesn't take too long, which is nice. Um, I'd be on a 7 out of 10. I think it's solid. All right, thanks very much for watching. That was Village Pillage.